Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins, and guys, we're back with another coin roll hunt. Today we have, dun dun dun, nickels! Yes guys, and like the crazy Russian hacker says, welcome to my laboratory, where safety is number one priority. Always make sure you cut away from yourself, so that you do not get hurt. Um, doing this with one hand, my tripod is still out of action but here we go hopefully we have some circulated nickels and what do we have we have dun, 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 circulated nickels yes so we're gonna make our nickel mids see what we find raven hot coins stay tuned Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins. You see we got the nickel mids. We did not have any obvious enders, so we're going to get into the first one. Hopefully you find something good. You know, maybe a war nickel or some buffaloes, some foreigns. You just never know. But let's get into it. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins. Guys, we have gotten through the first of the nickel mids and have found some really cool stuff. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is this foreign coin that I got in the search here. This one is actually from the United Arab Emirates. And it's really cool. I like the, the shape of it. It's kind of like a pentagon. And then when you flip it over, of course it's foreign, I should have flipped it to the side. It has an oil field and towers in the back. So that is a really cool find. Then we found a, uh, get this in the right spot here, a 1948 Philly. Then we have silver. Yes, guys. And the first one we found, or first nickel mid, we found a 1942 San Francisco. Really, really nice to find. A war nickel but the one that really blew my mind is this one right here guys look at this lamination air on the nickel this metal here goes across and into his eye it's got some weird splitting here here's more extra metal here so this is like die cracks and d lamb um i'm really stoked to find this this thing is really really cool there's a crack right in the building there and you can see the extra metal coming atop the Monticello. Here, look at a little better angle on this because this thing really, really surprised me. So, so far, guys, only four finds, but they've been really good. We're going to get into the next nickel mid and see what we find. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins. And you know what I forgot to do when I found this war nickel was war! Huh! nickel <laughs> anyways we're gonna get to the next one guys we got a visit from canada a 19 uh it's a nicer not nicer it's a definitely nickel it's a 1985 i believe and yes the 1985 beaver nickel then finally we got and i was so happy a buffalo soldier Yes, a 1935 Philly Buffalo Nickel. Really, really cool to get that. The boxes here have been really good lately, so I'm happy. We got three more nickel mids to go through. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins. Guys, this box is blowing my mind. I am telling you, the things we're finding is just so cool so the first one we got here is a 1955 and this is i think it's a denver let me get yep 1955 denver followed up by a 1952 philly then we got dun 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 a war huh nickel the second one in the box guys a 1945 philly then we got in 1940, and normally I see a lot of Phillies and Denvers, but this one, guys, is a San Francisco. You see the little S right there. It's a little hard to get it focused on here, but it is a San Francisco. 
Then we found another Buffalo Soldier. But this one is really worn, guys. I really wish I knew. Um, it looks like it's a Denver at the back there. Let me let me take a look real quick with the scope. I uh, didn't realize that I didn't check it out earlier. Trying to get it to focus in, guys, but it doesn't really want to actually. Gosh, that looks more like a S. So it's it's a Buffalo nickel, dateless, but from San Francisco. I'm gonna have to put this with my pile of dateless buffaloes and eventually do a nick -a date video because some of these could be worth something. You never know. I mean, that thing is really cool. I'm I'm happy to find it and found two so far. We have two more nickel mids to go through, guys. I hope this keeps continuing. Let's see what we find. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins. And guys, we got through the, the next nickel mid and we only had one find. Uh, there was a lot of modern dates in this box, so I'm surprised at the stuff that we have found. But it's a 1940 Philly. And uh, I can't complain. Multiple Buffaloes, multiple War Nickels, Air Nickel. We got one more nickel mid to go hopefully we find something good but you never know raven hot coins stay tuned hey everybody welcome back to raven hawk coins and we got through the last of the nickel mids and we found one in the whole box a 2009 denver been really happy to find these um i seem to have really good luck with the 2009s if you don't already know, that's a modern key date. Uh, and then we have a Black Beauty, a 1966 Philly. And you can tell by the rim being dark and the whole coin. Uh, this is a lamination uh, where the metals didn't mix properly and it gets dark over time. Really cool find. Then we have another 1952. This one's a Philly. And then a 1941 Philly. Last but not least, we have a 1939 Philly. So, guys, really good box. Probably one of the best I've had in a long, long time. We got the two Buffaloes, a.k.a. the Buffalo Soldier. And then the two War huh, Nickels, the Air Nickel, the Emirates Coin, and all the ones in between very good stuff so make sure you guys keep hunting keep your eye out and all your change and uh support all the channels as well last but not least make sure you take care of one another raven hot coins have a great day